I'm Lonnie. I'm Steven. I'm Jacob. I'm Johnny. And we're, we're Adler. Adler. We're a rock and roll band. And we play rock and roll music. We're, we're just a group of guys who enjoys uh, being together, hanging out with each other. And we can write music and, and play music together. And that's like a plus. We're just straight ahead rock. You know, it's um, a lot of people because of Steven's past or whatever, it's like, you know, are you guys like 80s rock or whatever? And it's like, we're just, we're just straight ahead rock, like in the vein of Foo Fighters meets, you know, Guns N' Roses meets even Green Day, whatever you want to call Journey. it. Meets Journey. Meets Elton John. You know, our, our music's kind of all over the place. So. Steven had the band Adler's Appetite, and he would go out and play the Guns songs. Um, I joined the last incarnation of that. And after we did a one summer tour together, he came back home and he said, hey, it's time to do something new. And he basically let everybody go but me. And then uh, we met Jacob through our, our mutual friend, Jay Rustin, who ended up mixing our record. We, we brought in Ma Johnny Martin. It's really exciting being part of a team, especially with a bunch of great guys who have your back. Music and horror have always gone together, and that's kind of been how I based my life when I was a kid. You know, I didn't really hang out with too many people. It was me in my room with the horror books and the music. You had the Nightmare on Elm Street movies yeah. that, that Dawkins was in. And speaking of Dawkins, Jeff Pilson, the bass player for Dawkins, the one that produced our record. But, Just throw that one in um, there out of nowhere. Yeah, there were all these great <laughs> movies when I was coming up. It's like a Shocker that had Megadeth, you know, doing No More Mr. Nice Guy from Alice Cooper. It's like they really went hand in hand. So I used to, I was a total horror movie buff. Our album, Back from the Dead, uh, we basically stole from all our bands that we look up to them and we love listening to. Lonnie says, we made the record that we wanted to hear. The very first song that I heard for the project is a song called Habit. And it's basically Steven's story, like through his eyes. And I was like, you know, this is, this is really cool. This is really cool because it's, it's not a concept album, but the songs could almost be about one's, you know, personal struggle to overcome whatever, the demons, and then and rise above, you know. As the writing went on, it just sort of took on that theme. We didn't try to make the record sound like radio. When you approach it like that, you end up sounding like everything else on the radio. No rules, no boundaries. John Five's wife and Stephen's wife were friends, right? They, do, they have an animal uh, shelter thing they do together. The way I look at him, he's like the Eddie Van Halen of the 21st century. And we had a song called Good To Be Bad, and it was just, it was written for him to, to play on. It had that creepy element to it, you know, so when he came in, he just made it extra creepy, you know? He has a distortion pedal, one of those yellow boss distortion pedals, and one of those blue chorus pedals, a tuner. And, and like that's it, and like delay. And he just cranks the, um, the chorus, like every knob on the chorus pedal up, and that's where that you know, creepy sound comes from. But his tone is just in his hands. Slash was there. It's an honor for me to have him come down, because um, we didn't talk for you know, like two decades. And for him, to, he, he won't want to just play work with anybody. He's very serious about his sobriety and who he works with and when he does. And it was just like an honor for me that he felt, you know, this, that comfortable with me again, that he'd want to come down and be a part of it. It was incredible for me because, you know, I'm just a redneck from Alabama. So, yes, I mean, you I, I, you know, I felt like I won the lottery or something. <laughs> like, when I was a kid, these guys were hanging on my wall, you know, and, you know, Years later, I'm singing on a record with him. One of the scariest movies I ever uh, I saw was with Jeff Goldblum, The Fly. Ah, oh, that was a good one. That was, I just saw that. That one was really creepy. Evil Dead 2, though. That's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Evil Dead 2, and as far as newer movies go, Cabin in the Woods, because it kind of had that element to it, but then there was a twist, so it was pretty awesome. My favorite movie of all time, it's debatable whether or not it's a horror movie, but The Lost Boys, you know, it's like, yeah, it, it's it's Dracula. it's always been my favorite movie, still to this day. Starting in June and July, we're touring all over the U.S. It's it's time to really start working this record, and that's going to happen a little bit in May, but definitely we're going full bore in June, July, August, September right. through the rest of the year. And we're angry, and we're hungry, and we want to kick ass. It's a dead 